John 14. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare place for you. And if I go and prepare place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Hey, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem Kakudash. Much peace and mercy to you, brothers that believe in the new covenant, that are actually of God in these last days, that are teaching the proper way, um, that understand that the Lord has laid down a new path for us that are of God in these last days to walk down. That is the, the highway spoken of in Jeremiah and Isaiah. That is the way, the certain specific path spoken of all throughout the New Testament. It was always the Lord. That's why he came teaching that he was that way that was spoken of in the Old Testament. Uh, but what you have in these last days, you have a lot of men that are not really of God, but they're, they're, they're clawing and scratching to try to get into the kingdom. To try to, but all you see in these last days is a lot of men that are trying to climb up another way. The Lord came. He said, I am the way. You have men that are trying to climb up outside of Yahweh Shai, and it tells you in John 10 that these men are thieves and robbers. So that is all you have in the highways is a bunch of thieves, robbers, murderers, um, and men that are just not right in the spirit. Men are, that are just uh, have been rejected of God in these times, reprobates. Um, you have a lot of wicked men in these last days, scratching and clawing to try to get into the kingdom. Now, a lot of these men, they have zeal, but it's not according to any knowledge of the Lord or the truth of, or anything, man. And you have a lot of wicked of our people and they have the Bible in their hand and they think they're kings and they think they've been, uh, they think they've been chosen. <laughs> you can't be chosen denying the Lord's covenant. And a lot of you guys have already blasphemed. So there is no, there's no repentance for a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys are already done. Um, so a lot of you guys, like the brother says, you're going to teach uh, false doctrine until you die in these last days, because that's all you've been given to understand. You don't understand the higher knowledge. You don't understand the Lord's covenant. Um, it's really it's because there's no place in it uh, in you for it. A lot of these men are the same men as to why and um, as to why the John said to them that who uh, he asked them who warned you to flee from the time to come from the destruction. So there was men in that time where they were already rejected of God. <laughs> That's why John told them, uh, man. He said, "Why who warned you?" He told the wicked scholars and Pharisees, "Who warned you guys to flee?" And that's what we're telling to you guys, the destruction and all the shit you guys preach about, the prophecies and the shit of the world you talk about. Who warns you to flee from it? You're not going to escape from it. You guys are going to be casualties of all the shit you preach because you're not of the Lord in this time. You're not of God. So none of those things you teach is going to profit you in this time because you don't even have the spirit. God's talking about the spirit, the spirit, the spirit. You can't have the spirit being uh, not believing in Yahushua's covenant. You don't have the spirit. A lot of you men in garments, you don't have the spirit. You're not of the God. You're of the world. That's why you teach Moses, because you don't understand the higher knowledge and wisdom of Yahushua's covenant. You don't understand that it is far superior to Moses' law. You don't understand that there is a righteousness without the Mosaic law that is within those that are of the elect, because they don't need a law because they're already righteous. They've been perfected. There's perfected spirits. It tells you in the Bible. It's like men don't read these scriptures. They don't believe in these scriptures. They're out there just following men and teaching after the doctrines and precepts of men that they've learned according to that camp doctrine so they don't understand the lord a lot of you men in these last days you think you do but we see that a lot of you men you really don't because you're scoffing what the lord actually taught out of his mouth so i'm gonna read this this is um romans 10 and 1 it says brethren my heart's desire and prayer to god for israel is that they might be saved <laughs> For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness. So you guys in these last days, you're ignorant of God's righteousness. Um, God's righteousness is not uh, the law of Moses anymore. Let me grab something real quick. God's righteousness is not the law of Moses anymore. The, the righteousness of God has been manifest without the law and it is the way the, the lord was teaching it tells you that in um romans 3 here i'm gonna get it 
Because a lot of you guys, you don't really understand the scriptures like that, man. This is Romans 3. So there is a righteousness that has been manifested where you don't need to keep the law of Moses to be justified in the eyes of God. Abraham didn't have to keep the law of Moses. Jacob didn't have to keep the law of Moses. Isaac wasn't keeping the law of Moses because it didn't exist. So they were living by a different standard to justify themselves with God. And it was simply them just being upright because that is who they were in the spirit. They were already friends of God. They were already upright vessels. They did not need any law to be upright. And that is the seed <laughs> that is going to be blessed with faithful Abraham. Starting with Yahweh Shai. That is why he walked without a law. It was in him. That's why this is said. This is Romans 3. It's heavy, man. Romans 3 and 20. Therefore, by the deeds of the law. You know, let's read up a little bit. <laughs> Romans 3 and 19. Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law. So now we know that what things soever the law saith. So whatever the law is telling you to do based uh, to be justified, we know that that's only for you that are under the law. Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law. So there, it, there is a parallel right there showing you there's going to be men that are not under the law. So... Paul and the Lord, they had to use the old law because it's all niggas understood in that, in, that, in that time when they came. And that led them to rejecting the Lord. And many men that were underneath that, under that old law, Paul said he became without the law. And then he said he became with, he was, he, was to, he was with law to them that were under the law. He became without law to them that were without law. So Paul was pulling men that were underneath the old law into the covenant. And he was also pulling men that had never been under the old law into the covenant. Men do not understand this, that the Lord brought a whole entirely new way for our people to come to. Whether they grew up in the under the Mosaic law, they were given a chance to come into the Lord's law. Whether they grew up as pagans and heathens and Greeks and Romans, they were given a chance to come into the Lord's law. It's very simple to understand, but a lot of men do not understand the scriptures because they're not sent in this time to teach our people. You're not sent, but you niggas are running fast as the same boat right now, teaching false doctrine. <laughs> teaching the same cycle of lessons every day, the same doctrine, the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. It's over. It's the, the, the thrill is gone from you guys. The Lord is not dealing with you guys in cancer groups and organizations. You're, 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 you're leaving out lots of keys of knowledge like it tells you that you guys would do in the book of Luke. A lot of you guys are sitting in a way and you're hiding the key of knowledge. You're, you're stopping men from growing and going on to the next level to actually grow, to actually be free. This is what the scripture speaks on when it says that men will bring you into bondage in these last days. Bondage to what? To the old law of Moses. The spirit can't deal with you if, you're, if your standard is the law of Moses. If you can't be righteous without having to follow that law of Moses, you're not of God in this time, period. Point blank. Romans 3 and 19. Now we know that what things soever the law saith is saith to them who are under the law. So there were men that were under the law and there were men that were not under the law that were believing in Yahushai. They were believing in Paul. So Paul had to use the old law to get some of those guys that were believing in the old law out from under that. Under that. He had to show them what the Lord was actually bringing and that it was prophecy and that it was beneficial that they repent to the Lord's way because it was written for him to come and do so and establish it. All throughout the old. These are what they were teaching people in the book of Acts. Have you heard about the Lord Yahweh Shai? Have you heard about the Lord Yahweh Shai? Yahweh Shai of Nazareth? Why do you think they were doing this? Because the Lord, when he came, he taught a certain doctrine. And he laid down a certain path for the elect. That those that were not chosen hated. And did not go down. And did not follow. And died believing in Moses. So now what you're seeing is you're seeing the men come back in these last days. And what? All they can understand is Moses because that's what they died believing in in 70 AD. That's what they died believing in uh, when the Lord came. That's what they died believing in. 
That's what they believed in into the depths. After these men, after these towns rejected the, the, the believers of the Lord, the, they killed the Lord, the apostles, Paul. These were towns and cities of men that were keeping the law of Moses. That's why they hated the apostles. That's why they hated the Lord. That's why they hated um, the uh, uh, Paul. Because they always perceived that they were not, they were, they were going against the law of Moses. That is exactly what men perceive about us teaching the Lord today. It's the same thing. There's nothing new under the sun. So what you're seeing is the same men that has something to do with killing the Lord and the prophets. They don't remember who they are. They think they're righteous. They think they're going to go up again into the kingdom through the law of Moses in this lifetime. They're doing exactly what they did when the Lord came. They're adhered to the Moses law. Why do you think some of us are adhered to Yahushua's law? Because this is the same thing playing out that happened in the, in the first century. This is the same generation. You are who you were when the Lord came. If you believed in the Lord when he came, you're back in this time and you can understand and believe in the Lord. You believe in the Lord over Moses because you believed in the Lord when he came. And you were, what, discharged from Moses and you were sealed in that time to come back in this time we're in to be saved, to be risen up in the spirit. And that's what you're seeing. Men don't believe what they're seeing because the Lord said, I shall work a work in your days that she shall not believe, though a man tell it to you. So we're telling men of the Lord's work and his covenant and how it's been open and accessible through faith. I saw a guy, uh, one of these reprobates in these fucking camps talking about we have access through faith. So do you, what do you guys have access to? Now, I'm not, I hope you're not saying you have access to the law of Moses through faith. Sean, you guys don't have any understanding of these last days, man. What do you guys have access to through faith if you guys don't even have any faith to begin with? You don't have faith following Moses. Moses, there's no faith in that law. Until you enter into the new covenant understanding and you're on a new path of life according to the scriptures, not living after the letter of Moses, and But living after the spirit and walking in the spirit, that is a new path. Until you are on that path, you don't have any access to faith. You don't even have any faith. You don't even know what faith is. We have access by, by our faith. What do you guys have access to? Oh, the spirit. The, the, no. <laughs> a lot of men don't understand these scriptures, man. You have access to the new covenant by faith. Why is that? Because in order to access the covenant, you have to actually believe in the actual way that the Lord set down to move in it. So for you to actually be of the Lord and of his covenant, you have to have faith that that is the way that the Lord established for us to get to God. Men don't believe that the Lord established a new way. They don't believe this. They're just still going to go through Moses. When Moses told you, that you would have to take heed to the house shot. And then Moses didn't even make it into the kingdom. So a lot of you guys, you're not even going to make it in these last days because you're stuck in a carnal mind. You're stuck in the law of Moses' mind. Romans 3 and 19. Now we know that what things soever the law saith is saved to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law... There shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. By the law is the knowledge of sin. So if you're still practicing the ministration of the old law of Moses, you are remaining in a cycle of sin. There is no justification in that law anymore. All you carnal reprobate guys in these last days, man. You can never be, you guys are teaching a law that will never save you or justify you. It will never change your spirit. It will keep you carnal. A lot of you men don't have any understanding in these last days. You will not sense to teach the Bible. Put the Bible down, dude. That's what a lot of you need to be told, man. Put the Bible down, dude. A lot of you need to put the Bible down. Put the book down. It's not for you. A lot of men are subverting souls in these last days, telling them that they need to keep all these old laws of Moses. You can't keep the law of Moses. Those that are of God, they're already morally upright. So they don't need anything of the old. 
all the moral uprightness and a man being civilized, that is already how the elect were born. That is why the Lord said they don't need the old law. I have already made my great perfect. Perfected spirits, perfected forever. They're perfect. They don't need to go look in a book. The spirit that's in them is righteous. So the Holy Spirit in them leads them to do holy and keep them righteous and keep them upright and keep them moving on the right path and doing the right things. They're not reprobates in these camps that need an old law to not be a beast, to not go beat up people, to not go kill. They're a beast of our people. They need a law. To, there are niggas that need to look at a law on paper to know not to kill somebody. That is a beast. There are niggas that need to look at a law on a paper and to wear a fringe to help them remember not to sleep with a woman wife. Do you, understand? you have to understand what type of men are in these garments in these last days. These are wicked, corrupt, evil, demonic men, a lot of these guys. They are they're reprobates, they're rejected. These are brute beasts in these last days. Teaching the Bible to our people. Carnal men. Listen, if you listen to the, le the lessons of these men, it's always about women, how many women they're going to have. These, these men are not going to rule Israel. They're carnal. You men in the camps, you're not going to rule anything, man. You guys are rejected of God. You're rejecting the Lord's covenant. <laughs> Goodness gracious, man. All these base fellows that are ruling over Israel in these last days. This is always, see, this is how Israel always stayed behind. It would always be some wicked ass demonic niggas and all their conglomerates set up keeping men from the spirit by well, while at the same time destroying those that are actually of the spirit. A lot of guys are brute beasts. We can see it on you, man. <laughs> a lot of you guys are emotional. It's, it's, it's crazy in these last days, man, because it all goes back to the old law. Until you leave the old law and come into the new path, a lot of you guys are going to remain in darkness, man. A lot of you guys in camps are in darkness. Your lessons are not edifying nothing. It's no spirit behind it. It's dead. It's dry. Because you guys are not the lively stones the Lord said he will raise up. You guys are all reprobates and rejects. Teaching that we still under the law of Moses. You guys are still under that because you need that to be righteous. You guys are, without that, you'll just be naturally a beast. You guys are, that's why Paul said you guys are natural brute beast. By nature, you guys do the things that disobey or that are disobedient to the Lord. You By nature, you think, do the things that are of the flesh. A lot of you guys need the Paul in the black and white to tell you you should only have one wife or none. You shouldn't be multiplying wives. A lot of you guys don't even have the fucking spirit and sense to not to understand that that's not profitable in this time. You need to go look at a piece of paper and look at the old law <laughs> it to, it, and look at Paul to tell you to stop being with all these different women. Certain of us have the spirit and it, it leads us to be like, oh, no, no, we shouldn't be having a lot of women in these last days. This is just an example, because you have so many men in these last days uh, stuck on all these women, and, and, and these, it's, it's heavy, bro. Our people always fall to women. It's always some women involved in something. A lot of you guys are feminine. A lot of you guys are led by your flesh. Is there anything with having a, wrong with having a woman? No, but Paul, even it's written, uh, it's best to have one woman or none, because you have to have all your focus and your spirit uh, in these last days, leaning after the Lord's way. You have to. And in order to do that and understand the Lord's way, <laughs> that's why Paul said, even if you have a wife, you have to be as though you don't even have one. Is that saying neglect your wife? No, it's not. It's saying that, what, this is more important than your wife and that you're going to have to put this over your wife and make this more important. Or else she's going to become a distraction and she's going to hinder you from learning and growing in certain stuff. That is why that's said. And uh, another thing, a lot of men in these last days, you shouldn't even have no woman because a lot of you men, a lot of you guys are immature. A lot of you guys are not even a lot of you guys have families and you're leading your families into destruction. You're leading your kids into destruction because you're keeping them in Moses. You're not you're not letting even your kids follow the Lord. <laughs> a lot of you guys in these last days, you're leading your families and your uh, your women and your wives and children, so on and so forth. You're leading them into destruction with yourself. It's very heavy, man. Romans 3 and 20, therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, 
for by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now, that now I was talking in that present time when Paul wrote this, but now when the Lord came, but now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested. Break this down. Please, we need edification for you guys. It says right here, there is a law without the righteousness that the Lord brought. Meaning by default, he was teaching a doctrine that what? That came against that the people that believed in the old law in that time. That's what you're seeing in this time. There is a form of righteousness that you gain when following the Lord and taking heed to his doctrine that does not require the law of Moses. Let me read something real quick. This is Romans 3 and 21. I'm trying to make these quick. Romans 10, excuse me. Romans 3. Let's read a little bit, man. A lot of guys don't read the scriptures. So there is a righteousness that was manifested. Basically, there was a way the Lord brought and taught which justified you with God and brought you into the relationship with God and it didn't require Moses' law. God's talking about, yeah, the Gentiles didn't need to keep the law. They tell you Peter wasn't even keeping the law. Peter was living after the manner of the Gentiles. Meaning by default, Peter was doing things against the law himself. That's why Paul got on him. He's saying, why are you trying to have them circumcised to keep the law of Moses and keep the old law when you're keeping their customs and enjoying your liberty in their cut in the Gentiles' way? This is what Peter, this is what Paul got on Peter for. So even Peter understood that, understood that you didn't need the old law of Moses to be righteous. All you needed to do was believe in Yahweh and keep his way, keep his commandments, keep the things he spoke out of his mouth, keep his principles. That's all you needed to do. That is what was being taught when the Lord came. The Lord came as that only way. If you listened to the Lord and did what he said, you were not you were not needing to follow Moses to be righteous anymore. That is why the Lord was manifested. He was manifested as a way, as a teacher to lead us down a path of righteousness that did not require the law of Moses. Goodness gracious, man. These guys are... Is that disrespecting the law of Moses? No. But the Lord brought a way where, look, you don't even need the law of Moses. If you want to keep some of that stuff, you can still do that. But this way, this will lead you to everlasting life. And it don't you don't need the Mosaic law. You don't need it. It's two different laws. It's two different covenants. The way the Lord brought, that is the way. That is why he said, I am the way. That way that was always prophesied in the Old Testament, the Lord was telling you, based on that scripture that was spoken of him he told you the book is written of him he is that way so many men in these last days that are not following that way you have not found that highway out of egypt you have not found that way you are not being led by the lord in these last days you're still following moses you're still following men in the flesh telling you keeping traditions of men you ain't follow a lot of you guys you don't really love the lord man you ain't following what the lord told you to do stop it man a lot of you guys like i said earlier put the bible down dude a lot of you guys need to put the Bible down, for real, man. It's a damn shame we got to keep going back and forth with you guys, teaching false doctrine, because all the majority of you guys are hard-headed ass niggas, man. Hard-hearted men. Can't be told nothing. And in the same breath, men will tell you, if we wrong, you tell us we wrong. Nobody can tell you shit. We, we've been telling you for a year. Men, men are waking up trying to tell you, you niggas in the camps are wrong. But this is what happens when you deal with reprobates. Reprobates will tell you, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Then you correct them. Oh, I ain't wrong. That is a reprobate. You have to get away from people like that. They are completely unreasonable. They are completely uh, not dealing in the spirit. A lot of men in these last days, you're not even of the spirit. The spirit is in the new covenant. The spirit is in what the Lord was teaching, which is why he was trying to use that to discharge the elect from the old covenant. Oh, you reprobates, man. It's crazy, man. You guys don't have no zeal. You're not lively stones. You guys are dead out there teaching false doctrine. Standing out there looking crazy as hell and dusty. It's crazy, man. Romans 3. It's heavy, bro. Romans 3 and... Let's go down to 21. And we'll read a little context on it, too. Because you guys don't fucking study a lot of you guys. You guys are following ass niggas in these camps, man. And yes, a lot of you guys need to be rebuked sharply Because a lot of our people are rebellious This is why the Lord had to curse people out This is why you see all the red letters in the scriptures 
It's very heavy, man. Romans 3. I'm gonna, let me read this real quick. He reprobates in these last days, man. A nigga will tell you, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. You tell the nigga he wrong. Nah, I ain't wrong. Are you unreasonable brute beast in these last days? The Lord is tired of you following Moses. Leading our people to Moses. You lead our people away from the Lord. It's crazy. That's why people are so carnal in these last days with garments on. Trying to fight Esau on the street and shit. No spirit. Don't have no understanding. This ain't about Esau. This is about our people getting our, themselves together. If you pay attention, the Lord never even talked about Esau in the Bible. The Lord, he never even talked about all these prophecies. He talked about getting your fucking mind together. He was teaching you principles to get your spirit right, to get upright, to be civilized. But only the elect received his way and path and listened. Those are all, that were of the fucking world that were wicked, they kicked the Lord out of his, their city. They ran the Lord out of their city. What else did they do? Um, they tried to stone the Lord. They killed Stephen. All because they didn't want to take heed to that new living way the Lord was establishing. It was a righteousness without the old law of Moses, which men couldn't understand. Because you ain't meant to understand, nigga. And that's the same thing we see in this time, man. It's heavy. And that's why it's a, it's certain of you amongst the camps, and you know exactly what we're saying is true. You don't need to be in a camp to be of God. You don't need to be in a camp that's following Moses to be righteous in this time. You can be righteous with being outside of a camp, following just Yahweh. He is the righteousness that was manifested that you keep without having to keep the Mosaic law, if men would study the scriptures, you can be righteous without having to keep the old Mosaic law. Why? Because you are born upright and righteous. Men don't believe that because many men weren't born righteous. They were born corrupt. So they don't understand what it means to be born righteous, man, or born upright or born of the spirit because guys are born after the flesh. Romans 3, let's go to 21. I'm going to read a little text. Romans 3 and 21. Now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. When, when Moses spoke of the Lord in Deuteronomy, that was his witness of the Lord. When the prophets spoke of all those things, the Lord would come doing, killing, and all the shit he would do uh, com concerning you, you wicked niggas in these last days and judging you based off his word. Excuse me. It's all written. It's crazy, man. A lot of you guys are doing the same bullshit you did when the Lord came. You're giving him the same shit in the spirit in these times. Because you're giving shit to his men. That's why he told us, he said, if they hated me, they're going to hate you. Because the majority of their ass full of shit and they're of the father the devil. That's what the Lord told a lot of you niggas, man. That's why he said, I have many things to judge of you men. We have many things to judge of you guys. But we don't because we want to just teach the Lord. A lot of you guys, it's a lot of shit we can say about you that people should know. That'll, that'll show them that you niggas ain't right. But why? We don't do that because we're not like you guys. We're not, uh, we don't do ad hominem attacks. And we don't post pic dudes pictures up. Look at this guy. He's wicked and this and that. Look, Israel. Destroying men's images. We're not carnal like you. That's low shit. That's low vibrating shit. That's demonic shit. That's shit that's trying to destroy people's spirits. A lot of you guys have deaf, so you guys are trying to destroy men and their spirit, man. It's heavy. Because a lot of you guys are demonic spirits. Romans 3 and 21. I'm going to read it in the NLT. But now God has shown us a way to be made right with him without keeping the requirements of the law, as, we, as was promised in the writings of Moses and the prophets long ago. <laughs> let's go into this real quick I don't want to make this too long man let's get this because you guys that are harking on this law you're of the old law because you're of the old you didn't believe in the Lord when he came so and it shows now you can't understand the Lord a lot of you guys are in the trick bag man let's get this real quick this is Romans 3 and 21 let's, let's read a little context for you wicked ass guys Romans 3, wicked ass dudes, man. Shit crazy. All these wicked guys in garments in these last days. You got to beware, man. You see niggas in garments and they can't tell you what the Lord was actually teaching out of his mouth. You got to get away from them. If they tell you that the Lord was teaching out of his mouth the old law of Moses, you got to get away from guys. That's not what the Lord was teaching. So a lot of guys don't have the testimony of Yahweh Shai in these last days. Because they denied the Lord, so they can't, by default, they don't have the testimony because they never testified of being with the Lord or believing in the Lord in that time. 
<laughs> they say the Lord's name, but they teach Moses. You got to really see. This is the time we have to discern what men are teaching, man. Does it line up with the scriptures? Is it what the Lord was teaching? Is it what Paul was teaching? Is it what the apostles were teaching? If it's not, you got to get away from guys because they've been rejected. So this is the t context, a little context um, for Romans 3 and 21. It says, he argues from God's glory to prove that justification must be expected only by faith in Yahawashai's righteousness. Did it say anything about Moses here? How are you reprobates in these last days, man? There is no justification by the works of the law. There is no justification by the works of the law. We're going to start having to read like this to you guys. There is no justification by the works of the law. So why are you guys holding our people to the works of the law if they can't be justified by it? They had to be entered into something else that will justify them. That is why Yahweh was manifested. Because it, when you follow him, you're justified without the law. It's crazy, man. Yes, we're going to talk to you guys condescendingly. Shit is crazy, man. There is no justification by the works of the law. Must, guilt, must guilty man then remain eternally under wrath? Must guilty man then remain eternally under wrath? Is there no hope? Is the wound become incurable because of transgression? No. Blessed be the most high, it is not. There is another way laid open for us. The righteousness of God without the law is manifested now under the gospel. It's beautiful, man. You guys are not the lively stones of the Lord. You don't have a zeal eating up your, eating up your soul to defend the Lord's doctrine. You don't have that zeal. Guys mistake our zeal with being emotional. No, you guys don't have any spirit. You guys are dead in the camps. You're not the lively stone. Let me grab something real quick, man. You guys are not the lively stones, man. You dead ass looking niggas out there on the highways and byways, man. I was watching this one. I was watching this one guy come up to you guys in Chicago, man. Called you a bunch of niggas, man. Our people see you guys, man. You're a bunch of niggas teaching false doctrine. You guys not UIC, Sikari. All you guys are niggas, man. You show forth your spirit of niggerdom, niggerdom in, in these last days. Rap music, shit of the world. Mixing it with the truth. Mixing it with Moses and the world and all this stuff. Nobody talk about the Lord and what he taught. All you clowns in these last days, man. You need to get sit your ass down and read these scriptures and see what it actually is talking about and stop following these older men from one west that have corrupted Israel in these last days. That are teaching nothing the Lord taught in these last days. They're teaching you to follow Yahweh and Moses. Yahweh put away Moses based off of his way, which is a way that does not require the law of Moses. We're just we're reading it here. You guys are not lively stones, man. You guys are dead. The Lord says he's raising up lively stones. This is our first Peter's. All oh, you wicked guys, man. Dead in the spirit. First Peter's two. Now I'm getting fired up, man. The Lord said he shall make his ministers ministers of fire. They're going to have a zeal to defend him. Are oh, you wicked guys teaching Moses? Even Moses is against you guys. Moses is looking at you niggas like, what are you guys doing? Follow the Lord. My way has been uh, retired. I didn't get into the kingdom. My way is not going to lead you into the kingdom. Mine was temporary. It was given to those brute beasts that needed a law that didn't even keep it because it was broken as soon as they were given it. All the way back in the book of Exodus. It's heavy. Guys are following a law that's been broken for over 2,000 years. So three, going 3,000 years now. A broken law. Guys are trying to keep you to a broken law. Something our forefathers couldn't even do. For thousands of years, our forefathers couldn't do it. But God, but all of a sudden, you need to keep that old law. That was broken over 3,000 years ago. That for 3,000 years, our forefathers couldn't even keep all the way up until today. But you... For some reason, that's the standard you're holding for our people instead of the Lord's standard that he came and died to establish that would justify you without that old law that you could never be justified by? A lot of you guys in these last days teaching Moses, man, you are leading a lot of people to their death. 
they are going to be denied by the Lord because they are denying the Lord in the spirit now. If a man come, if an angel come up to you and be like, go down this road, do not go down another road. You, a lot of you niggas are the ones that are sneaking, go down the other road and get put to death. This man, bro. <laughs> First Peter's two and five. Ye also as lively stones. Oh, let me read up a little bit. To whom coming as unto a living stone. Yahweh was a living stone. Disallowed indeed of men. Men rejected Yahweh Just like you niggas reject us today. You call us crazy. Call us demons. Call us emotional. Say we're not following the law. All the things they did to the Lord, we are experiencing. Why? Because we are of the Lord. He said, he told us, he said, if they did it to me, they will do it to you. We, that's why you guys hate us. Because you really hate the Lord. <laughs> so when the Lord comes, you guys are going to see that you are going off. The Lord is speaking through us. The Lord said, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. Now you have more men. You have more laborers understanding the Lord. The Lord is with them. The, the Lord is giving them understanding. You guys in camps, the Lord is denying you and taking everything you have in the spirit and allowing you to be slaughtered in the spirit and lose spiritual battles. That's what's happening. Um, I was talking to a brother too. In the ancient world, when the Lord wasn't, it was certain kings that went out and the Lord, the prophet told the men, the Lord's not with you. You're going to lose the war. But these kings took the army out and still went out. I don't care. I'm going to try anyway. And, and lost. Read in the, these, these, these uh, accounts and kings, man. That is the same thing you have happening today. Guys are going out to the highways and byways and the Lord is not even with them. They're going out to war on the streets and the Lord is not even with them. It's heavy, bro. <laughs> it's heavy, man. This is... um. And this is what the Lord was speaking on, man. That is why certain of us are lively stones. First Peter's two. First Peter's two. And it's crazy because I'm kind of hungry, but I don't even feel hungry because I'm eating this the truth. I'm eating the scriptures, man. I actually believe in the Lord. So when you believe in the Lord, <laughs> you're not in the flesh. You're in the spirit. You guys believe in Moses, it keeps you in the flesh, warring against the flesh and death and sin. and do, <laughs> Because you guys, by nature, you can't be upright and you, you are of sin and death. That's why you adhere to that law. That's why the Lord compares you guys to being dead. Let the dead bury the dead. <laughs> you guys are of death. First Peter's two. That's why you guys only talk about death and destruction coming. God's gonna die. You death and death. That if you go look at what the, the Lord was teaching, the Lord never taught like that. <laughs> just just go read how the Lord was teaching and go look at guys on the highways and byways and how they're teaching. You'll see that it's two different doctrines. You'll see that it's two different spirits. <laughs> First Peter's two. First Peter's two and five. Excuse me. First Peter 2 and 4, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed of men. That's what the Lord was. He was rejected of men. Just like those that teach him are rejected of men. That's why men reject us. But chosen of God and precious. But he was chosen of God and precious. Like us are called and chosen with him and are precious to God. Ye also, ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood. To offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Yahweh Shai. <laughs> Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient... You niggas in these camps and groups, you're being disobedient. The stone which the builders disallow, the same is made the head of the corner. And what else? And a stone of stumbling. A lot of you niggas are stumbling in these last days. Stumbling over your shoelaces. You're stumbling over your own feet. Stumbling. 
because this doctrine is beating you guys down in the head. Guys look worried. Guys don't look good. Guys look depleted, dead on the highways and byways, teaching false doctrine. Guys are confused. I, the guys are wondering if, I, if my apostles is right, if they wrong. Damn, what do I, what's, why this doctrine that, that these brothers keep teaching? Why is it they getting stronger in it? Why is it, why are they giving me understand? I never understood. <laughs> it's crazy. Why are God leaving the camp for this doctrine? See, it's heavy. It's a stumbling block going on for those of the wicked, but those that are of the Lord, they're going to be able to recognize what's happening in the spirit. And they're going to understand the Lord's actual doctrine. And they're going to separate themselves from camps. And that is exactly what you're seeing in these last days. And your camps are not looking good because you're teaching Moses. You're teaching what they were, the, you, you niggas in camps, you're teaching what the wicked scribes and Pharisees were teaching. I say it like that. You're teaching what the wicked scribes and Pharisees were teaching. That's why you hate what Yahweh was teaching. Because certain of us are teaching exactly what Yahweh was teaching. You hate the way it's being taught. That's the way the Lord was teaching it. And you hate it because you guys hate the Lord. You don't hate us. You don't laugh at us when you be laughing at us, calling us names. You really be laughing at the Lord. The Lord said, if you have done it to one of these, you have done it up to me. A lot of you guys are laughing at the Lord, calling the Lord a nigga. <laughs> it's heavy, man. You guys are doing exactly what you would do to the Lord to us. And we're just, we're just, we're, we're just the messenger giving you his message. And you guys are killing the messenger, man. Wicked ass niggas, man. First Peter's 2 and seven unto you therefore which believe he is precious which us that's us we understand the covenant we honor the, the lord's way over moses not dishonoring moses but honoring yahweh over moses because he's more glorious first two uh first peter's two guys i understand that first peter's two and seven unto you therefore which believe he is precious but unto them which be disobedient the stone which the builders disallow the same is made the head of the corner and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. Even to them which stumble at the word. That's what's happening. Being disobedient. That's what's happening. Whereunto also they were appointed. A lot of you guys were appointed to be wicked. A lot of you guys were appointed to lie in the scriptures. A lot of you guys were appointed to bear false witness. A lot of you guys were appointed to blaspheme the scriptures and to blaspheme the actual doctrine of the Lord. A lot of you men were appointed to be in camps of unruly motherfuckers. A lot of you guys were appointed to these lots that you are in in these last days for being reprobates and for ultimately denying the Lord and killing the prophets. This is the generation where all the righteous blood going back to Abel shall come down upon. These niggas said, let the Lord's blood be on us and our children. You got it. It is happening in this time. And the Lord is leaving many of our people in the darkness because they are not of him. They're not being raised to understand the Lord more and more. They're being what? Put into darkness more and more and more until the day comes of their judgment. It tells you that what? They were appointed to these things. You guys were appointed to be in camps full of false, false prophets. And we try to watch our languages, but you guys, man, in these camps, man, you are against the Lord and what he was teaching. You rather follow elders and men in the flesh and honor men instead of honor the Lord. It is sad what men are doing in these last days, man. It is very sad. Men are honoring and idolizing men. That's why they give them double honors in every lesson. And they don't give any honor to the Lord. How do you give honor to the Lord? Not just by saying his name. You have to actually teach what he was teaching. You have to actually be of the spirit he was of. You have to, you have to actually know what he was doing. What he set down. What he gave his life for. It wasn't for, for you to still keep. Moses, if that law can't justify you, he died to for those that believed and they were entered and sealed into a new way forever. They were perfected forever. Those that hated the Lord, well, you died and now you're back and all you can understand is Moses. <laughs> as simple as that, man. Because that's all you understood in that time. That's why in that time when the Lord came, you denied him. Because you couldn't understand nothing but Moses. Nothing is new under the sun, excuse me. Nothing is new under the sun with, with our people, man. This is the same generation <laughs> back in these last days. Funny because the Lord is coming back in the same generation that killed him. And you have some of us here that actually believed in him and we understand him. That's why we're teaching him. It's crazy, man. Let's go back here real quick. 
a little a little context on Romans 3 it says he argues from God's glory to prove that justification must be expected only by faith justification must be expected only by faith when so if you guys go to add the law of Moses you're going against the scriptures and Yahweh Shai's righteousness. Then, so Yahweh Shai's righteousness is different from Moses' righteousness? Yes. There is no justification by the works of the law. Must guilty man then remain in the eternal, eternally under wrath? Question mark. Is there no hope? Is the wound become incurable because of transgressions? No. Blessed be God. It is not. There is another way laid open for us. The righteousness of God without the law is manifested now under the gospel. Justification may be obtained without keeping of Moses' law. And this is called the righteousness of God, righteousness of his ordaining, and providing and accepting righteousness, which he confers upon us as the Christian armor is called the armor of God. This all has to do with what Yahweh was teaching. That is how you get your spiritual armor. The Lord was giving out armor. Moses wasn't giving out spiritual armor. The Lord brought a different contract. The Lord brought a different uh, uh, a list, a different law, which many of you guys can't keep because you're not of the spirit. It's a spiritual law. It's only for the spiritual of our people. So those men, you men, so what's showing is a lot of you men with garments on, you're not even spiritual men. <laughs> But you get, but you got the Bible in your hand. Put the Bible down, dude. <laughs> they should make a shirt that says that, man. A lot of you guys are clowns in these last days, man. Let's read it again, and we're going to get out of here, man. He argues from God's glory to prove that justification must be expected only by faith in Yahweh Shai's righteousness. We got to like slow our fucking, we got to slow the speed down for Negroes in these last days because they don't even understand fucking how to read anymore. Is there no hope? Is the wound becoming curable because of transgression? So even you guys in the camps, you're wondering, so man, if there's not no righteousness by the law, then how, how are we going to be saved? Listen, it says, no, blessed be God. It is not. There is another way. There is another way. There is another way laid open for us. The righteousness of God without the law is manifested now. How? Under the gospel. Woo, it's a cut. Justification may be obtained without the keeping of Moses' law. Woo! Cut! Let's read it again. Justification may be obtained without the keeping of Moses' law. And this is called the righteousness of God. Righteousness of his ordaining and providing and accepting righteousness which he confers upon us as the Christian armor is called the armor of God. Now, concerning the righteousness of God, observe that it is manifested. The gospel way of justification is a highway. There's that way again, boy. You guys are not in the spirit, man. This is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. Now, concerning the righteousness of God, observe that it is manifested. The gospel way of justification. The gospel way is different from the Mosaic way. Just to let you guys know, the gospel way of justification is a high way. Let me grab something real quick, man. Yeah, man. And I'm going to get out of here, man. I didn't want this to go extremely long, but it's a spirit, man. This is a Isaiah 19 and 23. heavy man bear me one second all 
Isaiah 40 and 3, the voice of him crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Isaiah eleven sixteen, and there shall be an highway for the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria like as it was to Israel in the day that he came up out of the land of Egypt. Man, bro. Jeremiah 31, 21. Set thee up way marks. Make thee high, make thee high heaps. Set thine heart toward the high way. Even the way which thou winnest. Turn again, O virgin of Israel. Turn again to these thy cities. Isaiah 62 and 10, go through, go through the gates, prepare ye the way of the people. Is that not what we're doing? Cast up, cast up the highway, gather out the stones, lift up a standard for the people. Isaiah 35, 8, and an highway shall be there, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. This is talking about the Lord and the way he brought the unclean shall not pass over it. That's why none of you wicked ass carnal brute beast niggas can understand the Lord's doctrine. But it shall be for those, the wayfaring men, though fools shall not err therein. It's beautiful, man. So let's go back. Now concerning the righteousness of God, observe that it is manifested the gospel way of justification is a highway, a plain way. It is laid open for us. The brazen serpent is lifted up upon the pole. We are not left to grope our way in the dark. According to Moses, you guys are groping in the dark following Moses. Here he obviates the method of the Judaizing Christians, which is a lot of you guys in these last days. Trying to keep our people and tell them, you know, you got to include the law of Moses. You Judaizing teachers, the Lord had to deal with you then. We have to deal with you now. You keep bringing the law of Moses in this. It says... Two, it says it is without the law. Here he obviates. So there's a righteousness without the law. Here he obviates the method of the Judaizing Christians who would needs join Yahweh and Moses together. You guys are doing this again. Man, it's beautiful. Who needs join Yahweh and Moses together, owning Yahweh for the Messiah. And yet too fondly retaining the law. That's you guys. Keeping up the ceremonies of it and imposing it upon the Gentile converts. No, says he, it is without the law. The righteousness that Yahushua has brought in is a complete righteousness. Yet it is witnessed by the law and the prophets that is, there were types and prophecies and promises in the Old Testament that pointed at this. You guys don't have any understanding of what you're reading in these last days. You're reprobates. The law is so far from justifying us that it directs us to another way of justification. Not the justification of Yahushai. Oh my God. Points at Yahushai as our righteousness. To whom bear all the prophets witness. This might recommend it to the Jews who are so fond of the law and the prophets. <laughs> and it's exactly what we see in these last days, man. So I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, man. Repent to the Lord's new covenant. That is the only way of justification in this time. Thank you.